uh, Jimmy Thing from Maximum PC here. I'm here checking out the NVIDIA Shield at E3 2013. I'm here with uh, Sean. And Sean, uh, can you tell us about the Shield? Yep, so Shield is a device that is full Android based, uh, jelly bean device. You can play Android games on it and you can stream games from your PC to Shield. And that's what we're showing off right now. Yeah, and uh, can we take a look at the desktop underneath the desk yep. to show people? So this is the Falcon Northwest Tiki Box and it's running a Kepler-based GPU. And on the system, we're playing Metro Last Light. And uh, as you can see, I could play the game here if I wanted to, run around. And if you've got a shield, you can also stream your game to shield and play on your device. So let's say you're at home and you're gaming and you decide you want to go in your backyard and game or you want to take a bathroom break. Well, you can take shield and continue your game with it. That's a little too much information. <laughs> so here we are, um, and we, there's a bunch of games that are supported. Um, we're on wires here at the show because of interference, but we do support uh, Wi-Fi. We recommend a dual band router, um, and of course, you're, you can play within the range of that router at home. Um, and if you decide that you you know you don't want to play any piece more any more PC games, you can jump out. And uh, go to your desktop. In all other respects, it's like a tablet. You can watch movies on this, listen to music. It's got ported speakers, so your, your audio quality is actually better than that of a phone and a tablet. Um, and uh, we last saw this at uh, CES. And can you talk about some of the design changes? You yeah, so through? since CES, you know, it used to be that there was a much bigger controller and you had to kind of reach for the triggers. Well, those have been pulled back, and the triggers and buffers have been upgraded, along with the joysticks. Um, the D-pad is now flat, um, and it's a, it's a better D-pad. The buttons have been moved. Um, so in all respects, it's a much better controller than what we were showing at CES. And it's running a stock uh, Jelly Bean? It's a stock Jelly Bean. Um, it's, uh, you can root this device and do whatever you want to it. We expect that the, uh, the community um, will probably be doing all kinds of cool hacking things with this. Um, and we hope they do. You know. Will this be getting the, uh, the latest updates? It'll um, be getting the latest updates, for sure. And uh, can you talk about, um, so the, the screen is a 720p screen. Uh, how does that work when you're running a game that's like 1080? On your, on your uh, desktop. On your, so you're running a PC game, it's, it's going right. to, yeah, it, it, what it's, it's doing is it's going to downscale. We're using grid technology to send that to the device, <laughs> and it downscales it to the screen. Um, but it looks, you know, like, like you just said, it's a 5-inch, 720p display, um, 294 DPI. Um, so it's, it's a beautiful screen. It's got multi-touch controls. So if you wanted to actually use the screen, you could... Um, you know, just like a tablet, whatever. Right now I'm showing off a, a boxing game. How much the, how much does the, the uh, device weigh? You know, I'm not sure. God, I, I don't, I don't know the exact, but it's, you know, it's actually kind of heavy. It's hefty. It feels good in your hand. Um, it's not, it's not a, you know, it's not a cheap device. It's, uh, it's made really well. Um, it's got 16 gigs of memory. Um, Two gigs of RAM. Um, it's got an SD slot on the back, so you can actually add more memory to it. It's got an HDMI connector um, and, of course, a mini USB. Right now, we've got the mini USB hooked up to fast Ethernet. So, um, a lot, a lot of, um, a lot of options, a lot of features, you know, for an Android-based device. And let's say I want to jump back into the PC game now. All I do is I, I go up to to the Tegger Zone, and uh, I hit enter, it'll see the games already on the PC, and we'll, we'll, we'll resume. So uh, does this thing, it mirrors what your PC is doing, correct? Yep, it's exactly right. And so if you boot up a game from uh, the Shield, that, I assume that also means that it's booting up the game from the PC? That's exactly right. Uh, yeah. 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 And uh, when can uh, gamers expect to uh, pick up? By the end of June. So we're taking pre-orders now. The device is $350, and uh, it'll be available in just a few weeks.
and we're launching in the United States and Canada at first, but uh, we'll announce other regions uh, soon. Thank you, Sean. Yeah, thank you, Jimmy.